So now, when you're actually shooting that on that Saturday, is it, and you're shooting it on an iPhone, do you have any other larger crews, or pretty much just you and Eric and yourself? It was just us. Was the three of you? Yes. With it. Nice we're professionals. Yes. <laughs> yes. We knew what we were doing. Yes. We knew what we wanted, and and we we went for it. Yep. And I went through her wardrobe. I was like, no, this, that, this, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and Eric said, you know, no, wear this. So it was it was just us, but we had a great time doing it. And uh, I think we started at like nine in the morning. And probably ended eight, eight or nine eight, eight at night. Eight, I think. Or eight or nine. Yeah. It's like a twelve, 15, yeah. fifteen hour day. I think. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're doing it with friends, having a relaxed time, and you get to hang out like in the Buddha Lounge. Yeah, the yeah. Buddha Lounge. Come on. Anyone's watching? So now, since this has really struck a chord with so many viewers, there, uh, have you decided to choose something else that's in a similar vein, or what do you think Udia is working on next? Um, you know, we were talking about doing some kind of a follow-up to it, and we're just kind of working it out. But yeah, it it because so many people have said how relatable it is to them, you know, and because so many people, not only their lives play out on social media, but they now meet on social media, mm -hmm. you know, um, so we were thinking that maybe that would be our next direction is, you know, um, a couple actually meeting that way, so. I've been, I've been researching and going, stalking people's Instagrams, <laughs> <I'm> just <kidding. laughs> so um, just to see their story, because now that you hear about love in an instant, you kind of go, oh, oh, little so light bulb, now like, she oh, goes this to, is, now she goes <laughs> to people, pay, people and I start, and I start scoping out, like, <laughs> what their story is, because I'm, I'm, you know, there's a story behind everything, yeah. so I've actually, can't say anything, but, been this researching yeah. this. all right, yeah, yeah. Ooh, somebody's getting that, all right, all right, so, now, what made you decide to use Instagram as your medium for telling this, as opposed to, say, Facebook, or, not Tinder. <laughs> Tinder, that's a terrible um, What? Not a terrible way to tell that story. Well, I'm not on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if Tinder was out yet, um, but uh, I'm not on Tinder I also, or either, because you have to have Facebook to have Tinder, mm. so. Um, but I love Instagram. I'm such a fan of Instagram because it's just beautiful pictures for the most part. I mean, yes, you can do the video also, but usually um, you can just post a picture and go and keep it going. You know, mm -hmm. like Facebook gave me so much anxiety um, <laughs> because like you have, you know, people would say, oh, you haven't responded to my friend request or you haven't, you know, commented on my picture or this. I'm like, I don't have time for this, you know, um, and people think Facebook is real. I, I don't really get that as much with Instagram, but I feel like they think Facebook is real, and I'm like, you know it's not real though, right? And they take it way too personally, and I don't feel that same sort of pressure, you know, like with Instagram, mm -hmm. and I don't have to, like, make my profile private or any of, you know, like, I don't have to, re you know, add someone or whatever. If you like my pictures, then you can just follow me, you right. know, or you can like them or you can comment and keep it moving. Like, it's no network and, you know, Facebook, Facebook didn't like me also because they would send me nasty emails like, oh, you sent a request to someone you didn't know. Uh, because this is a social networking <laughs> site, yeah. so I kind of thought that you didn't have to know them. Um, and so I would send really nasty emails back to them. <laughs> we just didn't have a good relationship, so I, I didn't last very long on Facebook. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. They were like, "Oh, this chick again." Um, so yeah, that happened to me like three or four times <coughs> um, before I just kind of called it a day on Facebook. Oh. So yeah, but Instagram. But love, Facebook love, requires. Love. I think it requires. You know that question, like, "What are you doing now?" Or it has that question. You write it in the little box or whatever. It's and too it's like, time consuming. It's asking you questions, and you're in, you're right. It, you're you're writing to everybody, and I think that Instagram is is fun. But your because, pictures like I said, tell your story. Pictures tell a thousand yeah. words. So you yeah. really don't. You could just post a picture, and you don't have to say anything, and anyone can interpret it the way that they want to interpret it. Or you can put a little caption next to it. Right. It's very minimal. Yes. And that's why, you know, I say about love in an instant, it's an Instagram-inspired love story. Because it really was. You know? It was just 
looking at pictures and <laughs> how cute that picture is. Is your Alfred Hitchcock moment there? Were you, were you sneaking like, all right, I gotta be, gotta put my Hitchcock moment in? Well, I, I had to be the filler, even though I was not the person or the catalyst for Stephanie meeting Eric in the story. They had to meet somehow, mm -hmm. so I was the person that we met them. at my at, at the Buddha Lounge yes. through Gabby, <laughs> and I think this is actually where we meet because in this, this in this is. scene, um, he's like it's video and he's peeking his head and I'm like who's that guy yeah. you know and then and she's like yeah his friend is cute, <laughs> <laughs> um, and so <laughs> so that was just you know like one of the ways that I had to fill out the story and help round it out. Um, my version of their story. Right. So, yeah. Now, many filmmakers, I mean, they, they work on things for so many, uh, so many different projects, so, so many things, and they, they come and go, and they just kind of fall through the cracks, or people don't really respond to them. But you folks made something that, that, that people are really responding to. How does, that, how does that feel, to make something that has really struck the chord with people, and they've responded, and they've reached out, and they've contacted you, and let you know? It's great. I mean, one of the things that I hear often is how beautiful it is, or how, um, I'm trying to think of what my, uh, the chairman of my company had seen it and he said it was, um, gosh, I can't remember how he described it, but it was really great. Um, um, beautifully, I don't know, was it haunting? I'm not really sure. I can't remember. <laughs> but it was, you know, he just loved the look of it. Um, and um, so it, it's great to always hear, especially, um, I hear more from women, of course, than men, but, and probably because the lead is a woman but that it's so true to their stories, you know, and, well, and totally, women, totally relatable. You us know? women are so, we wear our hearts on the sleeve. We and do. We're so much more emotional than men, so then we, we post so much more emotion than men do. <laughs> I, I see someone going, no, <laughs> and he's a male saying no, but, you know, I think, I think that more women relate, though, to it because we all do it. Yeah. We all do it. We all, we all yeah. <laughs> Do you? I mean, when you... <laughs> no, I, no I, 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 find, I don't post that many things of myself up online. Very, very few. Like, if I go to Comic-Con, I'll post some pictures of me posing with some character. So, well, <laughs> but that's about it. Otherwise, no, it's, uh, I'm just plugging an improv show. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's, that's terrible. I'm terrible at Instagram photos. I'm terrible. That's something we learned. If you follow my Instagram, that's not going to give you any of your inspiration. Moments, so. <laughs> I'm not stalking yes. you at <laughs> all. No, I'd be a guy. If you fall asleep, I'm like, oh, this what a dull deal this guy is. <laughs> All right, our guests have been Stephanie Bacalan and Gabrielle Collins. Love and an instant Instagram love story. Look at that. Check it Thank out right you. now. It's a better pleasure than watching the Internet's talk show, Watch Hollywood.